Hello everybody and welcome to the Handy Quilter Studio. I am Jamie Wallen and I wanted to share a wonderful tip with you today. So very often when we take in customer quilts or family quilts, sometimes what we'll have is people that don't really understand what an iron is used for. So you'll have certain quilts such as pinwheels, that have nubs in them and they want something custom, let's say ditch work or even continuous curve, and you can't get anywhere near those points that all come together. So one of the things that I have found in my studio that I like to do is I use uh, spray starch and I also use a rubber mallet and I like a nice rubber mallet. I don't like the little quilt shop rubber mallets. They don't seem to work as well as a good man rubber mallet. And also what I have is in my studio, I have a piece of 12 inch plywood, nice and thin. I'll wrap that with cotton batting. And then what I'll do is I'll use that silver ironing board cutter, uh, cover, but not the quilted one. I go ahead, tape that to the back. And then what I do is I take my rubber mallet because I don't want to get anything on this quilt. I'll cover it with a piece of white fabric or muslin. We don't want to transfer anything that would be on that mallet. And I would say, you know, get a mallet for yourself and keep it in your studio. Always handy. I am going to put a rubber band around that to keep that stable. And then what I do is I do one row at a time. So I would go along this row I would use my spray starch and I would just put a little spritz in each one of those points that has the nub. I would then, and remember, one row at a time, otherwise it'll be dry by the time you get to the second row. So what I do then is I take my board that has the cover, I slide it right under there, and of course what have we done to the floor beforehand? We have vacuumed and cleaned the floor so we don't get anything on the quilt. Then what I do is I use the rubber mallet, it's got a little spray starch on it, and I give it about three or four bangs. One, two, three, four. And usually I'll hit it a little bit harder. I never want to go more than five or seven, and the reason I use the spray starch is if you do it on dry fabric, you're going to end up starting to wear that fabric. And I found 100% of the time a little spritz of spray starch that's going to flatten that out perfect, and you're going to be able to ditch or do continuous curve right up into there. And for me, for a king size quilt, which I did one a couple months back, it took me about 35 minutes and that was well worth the time to avoid the frustration of hitting those nubs and possibly breaking a needle. So I hope you've enjoyed that tip. Have a wonderful day and take care of each other.